Admit, I've been recording for 65 years and it never gets easy. But uh, we had some very good moments because I had two of my former students, Freddie Hendricks and Eric Alexander. Harold Mayburn is the first person that I came across as I was developing in my formative years who really saw something in me that others didn't see and he was very encouraging. And that meant so much to me, so I spent the better part of the next 10 years from that day trying to get ready to play with him. But here I am, you know, 48 years old, and I knew what was coming. And, uh, it's, you know, it's like a dream come true. Naturally, Nat Reeves, one of my co-workers for over the years. Big fun. Great time. And we did Anna Glimpse, dedication to my friend McCord Tyler. Freddie came in and nailed it. of music that we recorded, you know. Jimmy Cobb, we first played together with Miles Davis, a six-week tour, 1963. When I first met Harold, I was with a Miles Davis band, and uh, we were out on tour, and at that time was Paul Chambers and uh, Winston Kelly in the band, and they quit over some kind of uh, infraction they had with Miles. You know, it was a bit silly, but they, they quit, so I told them I was going to stay there until the end of the tour. So they got Miles uh, hired. Mayburn and uh, Ron Carter, George Coleman. favorite song, Beatrice Mayburn, Rest of Soul. Now, Lee Morgan was her favorite trumpet player, and the Jiggle was her favorite album. And it's one of my favorites because that's the only time I recorded with Wayne Short. The whole time I knew it, that's the only documentation I got with Wayne. So that's really important to me. Everything is shaping up pretty good. You know, you always figure you can do better, but 
right now, as he said, I can live with it, you know. I hate to sound redundant, but Albert Einstein once said that imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited, imagination encircles the world. And what better person to use your imagination than a so-called jazz musician? <laughs>